Imagine a world where every move you make, every word you speak is being monitored. Sounds like a dystopian novel, right? Well, it's not. It's our reality. In the age of technology where smart devices have become extensions of our beings, the idea of privacy is becoming more of an illusion. Hidden behind the allure of convenience and connectivity, there exists a realm where unseen watchers are always vigilant, always listening. This isn't some fictional world from a George Orwell novel. This is our world, your world, and it's happening right now. As we continue to embrace technology and integrate it into every aspect of our lives, we unknowingly invite these unseen watchers into our homes, our offices, even our bedrooms. These invisible guardians, armed with the power of data, have the ability to know you better than you know yourself. Your preferences, your habits, your secrets, nothing is off limits. The question that arises is, who are these unseen watchers? They could be tech companies, tracking your online activities to serve you personalized advertisements. They could be hackers lurking in the shadows of the internet, waiting for the right moment to strike. Or they could be governments using the guise of national security to keep tabs on their citizens. Now, before you dismiss this as paranoia or a conspiracy theory, consider this. Every time you use a search engine, every time you make a call, every time you use a GPS, you're leaving a digital footprint. And these footprints are collected, analyzed, and stored by these unseen watchers. In fact, surveillance has become so ingrained in our society that it has effectively blurred the lines between privacy and public space. And while some argue that this is a necessary evil for maintaining law and order, others question the price we're paying for this perceived security. So as we delve deeper into this topic, remember that every click, every search, every post can and probably is being monitored. And as disconcerting as it may be, this is the reality of our digital age. Welcome to the world of invisible watchers where privacy is a myth. And let's travel back to the Cold War era, to East Germany, where surveillance was a way of life. The Stasi, East Germany's secret police, was notorious for its extensive surveillance network. Their goal was to keep tabs on every citizen, with a focus on sniffing out any potential dissent. The Stasi didn't just rely on technology, they also had a vast network of informants, turning neighbours against neighbours and friends against friends. This was surveillance at its most personal and invasive. Stasi's methods were chillingly meticulous. They would map out entire social networks, intercepting mail and phone calls, and even breaking into homes to plant bugs. They maintained a vast archive of personal information collected over decades. The scale of their operation was staggering, with one in every six East Germans thought to have been under Stasi surveillance at some point. When the Berlin Wall fell, the Stasi disbanded, but their legacy is far from forgotten. In fact, it continues to shape Germany's approach to surveillance today. Germany has some of the world's strictest privacy laws, born out of the collective memory of Stasi's invasive surveillance. The country now grapples with balancing the need for security with the rights of its citizens to privacy. However, modern surveillance methods are becoming increasingly sophisticated and the digital age has brought with it new challenges. Today, data is the new currency and governments, corporations and hackers alike are all vying for control. In the face of this, Germany's commitment to privacy is both commendable and necessary. Yet, even in Germany, there are concerns about potential overreach. Recent legislation has expanded the powers of the German intelligence agency, the Bundesnachrichtendienst, sparking fears of a return to Stasi-style surveillance. These fears reflect the ongoing struggle between security and privacy, a struggle that is by no means unique to Germany. The Stasi may be a thing of the past, but the questions they raised about surveillance are more relevant than ever. How much privacy are we willing to sacrifice for security? And who gets to decide? The ghost of the Stasi still looms large over Germany, shaping its surveillance practices. Across the Atlantic, in the land of the free, surveillance is a household term. The United States, a nation built on ideals of liberty and justice, has had a long-standing relationship with surveillance that dates back to the mid-20th century. The National Security Agency, or NSA, was established in 1952 during the throes of the Cold War. Its primary function to monitor and decode foreign communications. However, over time, its scope expanded 
and the NSA began to cast its wide net over domestic communications as well. The turn of the century brought with it a new era of surveillance. In the aftermath of the tragic events of September 11, 2001, the USA Patriot Act was passed. This legislation granted unprecedented surveillance powers to government agencies, allowing them to monitor phone and email communications, bank and credit records, and even library lending histories. Further down the road in 2013, the world learned about PRISM. This covert surveillance program run by the NSA collected internet communications from various US internet companies. PRISM became public knowledge thanks to Edward Snowden, a former CIA employee who leaked classified documents about the program. Snowden's revelation ignited a global controversy. Critics argued that PRISM was a gross invasion of privacy, while proponents claimed it was necessary for national security. This incident sparked a worldwide debate about the delicate balance between privacy and security. But the story doesn't end there. Despite the controversy, surveillance in the USA continues to evolve. Technologies like facial recognition and predictive policing are now part of the surveillance landscape. These tools raise new questions about privacy rights and the extent to which our lives are monitored. In the USA, surveillance is not just a government practice, it's a part of the culture. From security cameras on every corner to social media platforms tracking our likes and dislikes, Americans live in a world where their every move can be watched, recorded and analyzed. In the USA, surveillance is as American as apple pie. Down under, the situation is no different. Australia, often overlooked in the surveillance debate, has its own dark secrets. As we cast our gaze towards the Southern Hemisphere, we find a country that is known more for its exotic wildlife and stunning landscapes than its surveillance activities. Australia, a nation that prides itself on its laid-back lifestyle and friendly demeanour, has been quietly upping the ante in the global surveillance game. In recent years, Australia has passed some of the world's most far-reaching surveillance laws. One such law is the Data Retention Act. Introduced in 2015, it mandates that telecommunication companies retain their customers' metadata for a period of two years. This metadata includes your location, the source and destination of your communications, and the duration of your calls. Essentially, it's a blueprint of your digital life, and it's all available for the government's perusal. Then there's the Australian Signals Directorate, or ASD. This intelligence agency, shrouded in mystery, has powers that would make even George Orwell shudder. With the ability to access and alter electronic systems, the ASD can essentially manipulate the digital world to fit its narrative. It's a power that's been used on more than one occasion, the details of which remain classified. The real-life incidents of surveillance in Australia are chilling. In 2017, it was revealed that the Australian Federal Police had accessed a journalist's metadata without a warrant, violating their own rules. In another instance, a whistleblower, who revealed the government's plans to bug the East Timor government, was prosecuted under the National Security Act. These incidents are not anomalies, but rather the natural outcome of an unchecked surveillance state. They serve as a stark reminder that even in the land of the fair go, privacy is a luxury that's becoming increasingly scarce. So next time you find yourself marvelling at Australia's breathtaking vistas or its unique fauna, remember that beneath its sunny exterior lies a darker reality. In Australia, the watchers are always watching. The world of surveillance is a dark and complex one, but knowledge is power and awareness is the first step towards change. We've journeyed together through the twisted pathways of covert operations, from the remnants of Stasi's legacy in Germany to the home of surveillance itself, the United States, and even the unexpected dark horse, Australia. Each narrative a chilling reminder of the unseen watchers that permeate our lives. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We've uncovered the depths to which surveillance has infiltrated our societies. It's not just a matter of CCTV cameras on the streets or digital tracking online. It's an intricate web of data collection, information processing and power dynamics, all operating under the guise of national security. But here's a question worth pondering. How much of our privacy are we willing to sacrifice 
for the sake of perceived safety. Where do we draw the line? These are not just rhetorical questions for philosophers to mull over. These are real, pressing issues that demand our attention and action. It's high time we took control of our privacy rights. It's high time we demanded transparency from our governments and held them accountable for their surveillance practices. We need to educate ourselves about the surveillance laws and regulations in our own countries. We need to understand the technology that makes this all possible, and we need to be vigilant about how our personal information is being used and abused. But remember, change doesn't happen in isolation. It's a collective effort. It's a conversation that we need to have, not just with our governments, but with each other. Let's make sure that our voices are heard. Let's ensure that our rights are protected. Let's strive for a future where privacy is not just a privilege, but a fundamental human right. Share this video, spread the word, and let's start a conversation about surveillance. Because the watchers shouldn't be the only ones watching.